Okay, I did not expect that. Woke up in some kind of basement or something like that? I should say then, guys. <laughs> Welcome, everyone, to Midnight Heist. I saw this the other day, and it sounded really interesting. And I thought I'd bring you guys along for the ride, because I know nothing about this, apart from the fact that it's in its demo form, and there's going to be a lot more stuff on full release. So this is what it says. As a relatively inexperienced hacker, you get the chance to perform tasks for well-known organizations. If you manage to complete these tasks, your reputation will increase and you will be trusted and rewarded. However, pay close attention to who hires you. The task will not be without danger. It is rumored that especially at midnight, strange shadows move through the office buildings, which really reminded me of these old movies where these companies are doing some real bad stuff like creating creatures or just hiding a real dark secret. Somebody breaks in, tries to get that secret and get it out to the public. It really reminded me of that, but obviously with this one, there's a bit of a twist. It sounds like something is lurking in the darkness. So I wanted to take a look at this with you guys. What's all this business, though? All right, we'll come back to that, because I wanted to have a look around here. So, yeah, I fully didn't expect to wake up in, in this basement. I don't know, is this like our headquarters or something? I know you can upgrade stuff. So maybe if we do jobs, we can upgrade things along the way. Oh. Connect a device to get started. No device found. Searching for a nearby device. Miro 8841349898. Okay, if that's not a heads up that we're going to be hiding in lockers in these buildings that we're going to be trying to get stuff from, <laughs> I don't know what is. <laughs> Let's close that up. I like looking around in stuff like this, though, because sometimes it gives you a bit of a clue as to what you're running into, or you can see little Easter eggs that are just scattered around. You can find some really cool stuff. There's no way all this stuff has been placed by accident, by the way. What's all this? What does that say? If your air conditioner is set too low, you'll feel it right here. What? No idea. Somebody let me know in the comments. All right. So this is our computer then. Oh, okay. So this is the lobby. This is how you actually take on the jobs and stuff. So difficulty contracts. SEMA X Agency South is an international hardware and software developer and technology company. Headquartered in Midnight City. Okay, so this is where everything takes place. Let's accept that. Map size is large. Computers 48. <laughs> Wait, I've got to hack 48 computers. Or maybe I've just got to find the servers and then it hacks that many and there's like a, a timer or something. Okay, so we've got two options for characters. We've got Elijah, who's looking really, really smooth. Or Daryl. <laughs> <laughs> we're going in as Daryl. That's definitely a thief if ever I've seen one. All right, we're ready to go. Then we can't do any of the challenges because I guess that's going to be on the full release. Ooh, what? There was an error opening. No! I mean, it's probably a good thing. They <laughs> don't want to be going on there. I love this, though. When you can... Oh, you can actually click it all as well. Yeah, let's just mute it. All right, let's, let's get this started then. I'm having way too much fun just clicking around. You have arrived. Now find a way in and hack the computer to get the data. But don't get caught. Good luck. Ooh. Why does that voice remind me of someone? And I know what some people are probably thinking. It's not Jigsaw. <laughs> there's, there's an actor that does horror movies, and I can't think of the name, but that really reminded me of them. Okay, here we go. Seema X, Agency South. Authorized personnel only. Okay. You need your phone. Oh, there we go. So that's what we needed it for then. So, hack away. Oh, look at this! What type of phone is that? Some, like, jailbroke iPhone or something? Is that all we need? To break into organizations like this? Whoa. What was that sound? I don't know if you guys could quite hear that then. It sounded like something moaning. All right, let's just take this slow then. Oh, I don't like how... There we go. Nice. Okay, I've just seen as well in the top left corner, there's a power meter that's just come on, <laughs> which is never good. That means we got to manage that. Yeah, whatever I heard sounded like it was here or like above or something like that. So the idea then being that we have to, what? Just hack that? Oh, there we go. I want to know what we're hacking, though. What are we stealing? What's the information? If this was me, I would absolutely, like, be asking questions. I mean, they probably don't want you to know. Just do the job and shut up. <laughs> but I would really want to know what we're hacking. I'd be way too nosy not to. Like, just have a little pry, see if there's any information. 
some top secret stuff that we're not supposed to know. Two down. This is the third one. Can we hack another one? There's like one here too. It's so dark. No, okay. You only hack one computer at a time. Of course. It'd be way too easy for me just to go around and just hack everything all at once, wouldn't it? Hack this. We got another one here. There we go. Big juicy locker that we can hide in. <gasps> I just heard four steps. I'm going to keep the light off. Should I go out? Oh, I've got chills all over my body. I did not like that. Okay, can we pick this up? They just left. Wait, what? What? Is this letting me know that someone else has tried this and <laughs> this is the remains of what happened to them? I did not like that. See, I don't know what I'm dealing with right now. Is it like an entity in terms of like a, a, a ghost or something? Or is it a creature? Because I thought it was something like a, like a creature or something. And they were they were hiding all these, this information that we had to, to hack and bring it back out open to the public. But I, I'm starting to think it's not that. <laughs> I'm thinking there's just something legit haunting these halls. Come on. That really sounded like it was knocking on this, though. Maybe the window there? Can we put some lights on? There we go. Keep an eye on that power meter in the top left. Ooh. Okay. I'm starting to side with the fact that this is a poltergeist or something like that. Get in there. That's fine. I heard footsteps 100% after that door opened. Oh, there is something messing with me in here 100%. Okay. Right, did we get that last one? Yeah, we did. And this one was done too. Okay, this room is done. Okay, that was already on. Let's put that back on. I am... Oh, I am legit freaking out. I don't like this. I'm going to try and save energy wherever I can. I'm going to close this up too so something comes out of there. I can hear it. Oh, wait. Was that the door that opened? This one? Let's go here. I really don't like the fact that I'm being messed with. I'm just waiting for something like a chair to roll out or... I don't know what else. <laughs> Use your imagination, guys. Anything like books flying off the shelves. PC... PC turning on. I can definitely hear foot. Go, go. Oh, that's that thing messing with me, isn't it? I thought there was a security guard coming in or something. This is genuinely freaky, though. The fact that you've got, like, a job to do, you've got to concentrate on hacking stuff. <laughs> as well as, like, not being hunted by whatever's out there. At the minute, I'm thinking it's a ghost. It's got to be, right? Someone's coming. Me in. I definitely heard footsteps then shuffling on carpet. Oh! Oh, I can take pictures as well! 
Oh, no way. Do I use this to see if something's in the room? I'm going to open all of these. Can we see ourselves? I'm really trying to listen. Wait, didn't it say I had 48 computers to hack? There's no way I do that. Oh my god! Come on. Get that one. Hi, Daryl. Stay out of sight. Chances are that thing is in here with us, but... Just gonna try and take cover where we can. The good news is, the hack... It's pretty quick. So I don't have to wait around for long. I can hide, I guess. Which I think is what I've got to do if, if I get attacked by something. No! Open! Oh, no! No, no! Oh, that was a full-blown panic. I swear I just heard something. <gasps> I knew I heard something! I'm gonna keep my torch off. was like a, a, a poltergeist or something it might it might not be I'm just gonna stay quiet for a second am I supposed to make a run for it or something this thing is not going away go oh shit oh my god that thing was on me so quick Heist failed. Okay, I mean, we got to accept that. Damn! What was I supposed to do there? There's no way I can shake that thing just by hiding. I guess I've just got to run away. All right, we're going back in. Okay, we're back. And I've already begun hacking some of these computers again. I am hearing some freaky stuff coming from over there. I've just opened this as well. I think we can get downstairs and upstairs from that point. So let's just keep hacking these. Did I get this one? Yeah, we did. Okay. So it's just this one. And then we can move off. I really don't know how I'm going to get away from it, though. Because we need to. i got two lockers back here if I need them. Ooh. I don't know if I just saw something there or if it was just that weird glass. All right, let's go. I'm going to go upstairs. I just want to see what's up here. Wait, no way is there just loads of different levels, loads of offices and stuff? What? There's so much you can search here. Okay. I guess we can just have a look around. I need like a locker or something. That's gonna be the thing that, that saves me if I'm, I'm trying to hide from it. that door. Oh, I thought something was on the ceiling there. <laughs> the red pipe. Right, we can go up again. If we wanted to. Is there any, like, lockers around, though? Because... There. There we go. Okay, we're staying here for a sec. Wait. Let's go back out here. Close these up. The more doors that I hear open, the quicker I can get away. <laughs> it's the plan anyway. Whoa! 
Whoa, what were you guys doing? I don't know if you guys caught that, but that was definitely a door. Okay, I noticed before that the flashlight was blinking. Which I think is a dead giveaway that it's close, so... We'll pay attention to that. And this one here. Is there nothing? Oh, there we go. Oh, we can actually look in the drawers and... not going to stay there. There's no way it stays there. Go away! Please! Listen to that! It's so, it's so horrible! Sounds like a rabid dog. This thing is not going away. It sounds like it's getting more pissed off. I've just found something though. Look at this. Whatever that folder was has an estimated value of $200. And there's other things that you can pick up and find, I guess, because we're a thief as well. <laughs> we can just like get valuable stuff. You've got to leave me alone, please. Yeah, what, what am I supposed to do here? At least if they don't find my body, they can find my phone. There's no way I'm surviving this. The thing is right there. And it's just marching straight into the locker. Okay. Yeah, look at that. Even if I turn the flashlight off and, like, hide, it doesn't go away. We're going. Go. Go. <laughs> Shit. No. I really thought I could have got away there. When I sprinted to the right, I thought I was just going to get out of sight. Do I actually keep the stuff that I found, though? So we got more data. Oh, 200. So I actually do come... Okay, well, 100. I got a penalty because I died, but I come away with 100, so at least that's something. What would be really, really cool about this is now we're down in the basement. If we kept descending down, there would be like a, a containment unit that housed that entity, and this is all a cover-up for some kind of like super top-secret study on like the paranormal or something like that. That could be really sick. Okay, I'm pretty confident that there's nothing left on the tables. Where's the exit? Is it here? Yeah, okay, so... What I'm going to start to do now <laughs> is open these. Look at this. <laughs> All the things you can open to. Oh, there's more classified stuff. Stuff here. I mean, we've racked up almost $1,000 so far. That's got to be good for new equipment or upgrades on stuff. What else can we find, though, before we dip? I think because it is still in the demo, I don't think we're going to be able to go on the black market and sell anything, but that would be real nice if we found, like, a crypto card or the pistol. I'm so tense now that thing's just going to come running up on me. I think I can loop around that way if I need to. Come on. There we go, more classified documents. Some cash. Someone just leaving a, a stack in their drawer at work. 1,200. All right, we're looking good. Can we open any of this stuff in here? There's no way this opens. Oh, my God. It's... I can hear it over to the right. Okay, cash. Wait, wait. I thought I got the card then. More cash. God, there's so much cash lying around in this place. They don't care. Look at that. It's everywhere. Where are we putting all this stuff, by the way? We've got so many classified documents, so much cash. All the phones in the world that we'll ever need. I don't think we're going to need a bag upgrade anytime soon. Seems like I'm not hacking anything, so it's not really attacking all that much. I might be getting really lucky, though. Okay, I don't want to push my luck. I want to see what we can get with the cash <laughs> when we return back home. But that thing definitely left me alone when I wasn't actually doing the hacks. 
with this stuff on the computers. Maybe that's when it really gets pissed off. Like it's bound to the uh, the computers or something like that. I don't know. But let's get back. Let's see what we can buy. Oh, so either way, if you fail by getting killed by the creature or if you just leave without actually doing the hacks, you get a massive penalty for that. I mean, that's not all bad, though. We still come out with 2,600, which is more than what we had before. Can we buy anything then? I don't think... Oh, we can't go on the black market. I'm guessing that if we can do that, we can somehow get better tech to do more hacks at once. And I think that might help, too. This is so cool, though, the fact that you can mess around with this type of stuff. But, oh, maybe upgrade this as well at some point. I don't know, though. It, I think it does have potential, and it's something a little bit different than what you get with things like Phasmophobia and, and the other ghost hunting games. I really thought it was going to be creatures. I had no idea it was going to be like, uh, like a ghost or a demonic entity or whatever the hell that thing was. It might have even been a creature, but the way things were moving around and being switched on in there definitely pointed to that. But yeah, there we have it. Midnight Heist. I just wanted to take a look at it and I thought I'd bring you guys along for the ride because maybe this is something we come back and take a look at in the future because <laughs> there's definitely some things that need polishing. I mean, one of them is that the creature cannot just stay outside the locker breathing into it, <laughs> waiting for you to come outside at any moment. But yeah, I don't know. I had fun with this and it's definitely got potential, but let me know what you guys think down in the comments. For now, this is where we're going to end. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And I'll see you all in the next one.